Next option, we have it line cloning. Let's tell describing. So we have the original line and we say can specify how many times and thickness, opacity, color, noise if it's color applied, as well as additional displacement of rotation can apply to this line to duplicate. So currently you notice it's have it a five. So it's meaning we will duplicate a five times and easy to view on this. So if we enable, you kind of hardly can see it. So example, you can see only thickness is increasing a little bit, but nothing else. So the best way to preview, let's have it rotation enable. So now I have it like five degrees rotation. So notice right here, we start having this line kind of increasing. Uh, let me bring thickness a little bit higher. So you can see right here we have a line and maybe you know maybe even more percent so right here notice we have this line going as a displaced a rotation displacement we can increase amount of the lines we want it okay as well as we're doing this it's like on a sketch we can take thickness down we can take let's go on our outline and if we set this thickness to one in this case, we need a thickness bring back in 200%. Right here, you can see it's almost like a sketching was applied this area. Next, we also have a th um, thickness with attention, which is may apply uh, variation to this. And as well, we can apply noise or randomness a little bit to those thickness. So let's bring back so we can preview. Next, we have the same things applied to opacity. So right now it's 100% opacity. We can reduce overall, and you'll notice how those cloning is reducing opacity. Same things we can apply with increasing noise or increasing the randomness in some of the opacities, okay, as well as attention. We can bring it just maybe a little bit more dramatic so we can see a differential between this. And if you have any color, we can apply as well color noise. The currently, it's kind of black and white, so we will see some, but not as dramatic if you're using some specific color. So you can see more, but overall right here, we can apply some of the um, color noise. We kind of look a little bit on rotation, but displacement work similar. So let's take our rotation down. We'll take displacement, maybe put it 15. So again, because it's one line, you can see how displacement would up and down and create fuzziness because it's a very close value. Maybe, you know, let's go 45 quite bit value so we can see displacement go around. And we can also add randomness noise. So let's go 25. Okay, let's add a little bit, not so uniform kind of uh, placement. And again, we already look on rotation and percent of the trimming in our rotation. So right here overall, you can see we have an interesting kind of type of the sketches. So let's add a noise on sketch. And we'll just add a little bit of noise. So with these cloning tools, we can clone those tools and apply all type of deformation directly to our outline lines. Um, as well, if you apply, for example, distortions, just see it, you'll notice the distortion applied to the cloning lines as well. So it's a geometry, so it's actually in the, some modifications inside the outline or in a line style. So they all combine to each other. And again, this is all to have the most interesting and flexible tools to create a outlining or stroke lines in this case. And again, just to um, kind of reinforce right here, you need to understand this is applied to all edges. You can always switch to the apply to the object only. You can switch to the materials only if you need to apply or normal only. So in this case, you can apply two specific areas. Okay, so let's go switch all edges. We'll go to cloning and we'll disable cloning. 